And now, the general weather around Alaska. Up first here, there's a high wind warning out uh, into early this evening for the uh, central and south coast of the Panhandle, ending from south to north for winds continuing to possibly gust to 60 miles an hour or more. And then there's a flood watch out for tonight for the northern southeast coast panhandle here up toward Haines and those areas uh, for possible flooding uh, through tonight, maybe early tomorrow. And from there, looking at uh, satellite imagery, here's all that moisture flowing northward, low center, bringing the gusty winds and some rain into the panhandle today with clouds all the way back across south central Alaska, streaming northward through the interior to the eastern Arctic coast. And this system uh, brought peak wind gusts. Let's see, at uh, Heidelberg had 56 miles per hour, while Craig had a peak wind gust of 54 miles per hour. Cape Decision had 62 mile an hour wind gusts as that low center pulls uh, northwestward and then kind of weakens tonight and pulls back to the west. And uh, otherwise, nice day here across the southwest interior, Yukon Cuscombe Delta, Cuscombe Valley, Bristol Bay right on down across Kodiak Island and a narrow band of clearing right through here, extended all the way up across the north slope to the Arctic coast today and then more uh, clouds back to the west there. And then that intense storm really falling apart now here, especially from what it looked like yesterday as we start the loop here. Pretty good swirl, but it's getting, uh, especially the frontal boundary here, starting to break up, getting some holes in. In fact, little if any precipitation making it into St. Paul today, but they had a peak wind gust of 63 miles per hour. Nikolsky had winds gusting to 73 miles per hour and anywhere from 60 to 65 miles an hour out over ADAC. Winds have really dropped off back here to the west towards Shimia. And uh, some clouds and light rain moving into the Alaska Peninsula with winds gusting anywhere from 35 to 50 miles an hour across the Alaska Peninsula. On the chart here, there's that strong low over the southern Bering Sea and the front extending eastward there right across in toward Falls Pass. Um, and just east of Unalaska Island this afternoon, strong westerly winds behind that helping to drive that front eastward with the low center not really making any more north, definitely no northward progress or northeast, but it's going to start pulling back a little to the west and then take off to the southeast. Otherwise, some pretty good sunshine over areas of, or a lot of sunshine here over the uh, Yukon Cuscombe Delta, Nunavak Island, all the way down in toward Kodiak Island. And then uh, clouds, areas of light rain and snow, south central Alaska today, dry over the northern and eastern interior areas. And then here's the front that brought the gusty winds and rain into the panhandle and uh, along the North Gulf Coast. For tonight, that low pulls northwestward, weakens into this trough right through here. And then this low here kind of develops a warm front along the old frontal boundary there and keeps it wet over the northern panhandle. About the same conditions here for the North Gulf Coast. Still uh, periods of light rain and snow for South Central Alaska, especially the Kenai Peninsula, Manuska Valley areas, diminishing as you get into Cook Inlet and then ending toward the Alaska Range. Much of the interior dry with light winds. Still very nice here over the uh, southwest part of the state in the Bristol Bay, even Kodiak Island. And most of this shower activity off to the west there on the uh, west side of this trough axis right along the northwest coast. And this low continues to weaken slowly and again pulls westward here with the front stretching out and a gradient really uh, lightening up or not definitely as steep. So winds will be much lighter for the Fox Islands, Alaska Peninsula tonight, but periods of rain will continue. And then for tomorrow, that low drops southeastward here or southward to just north of uh, Adak and Atka, continuing to weaken. So it'll keep wet conditions here for the Aleutians and into the Alaska Peninsula ahead of this front. Winds will be uh, maybe gusting 35 miles an hour, but that's about it here across the Alaska Peninsula. It stays nice over the Yukon Cuscombe Delta to the Cuscombe Valley, actually northward through much of the western interior until you get up to the Brooks Range. Then areas of light snow for the North Slope and the Arctic Coast with a weak trough and low pressure area up in that region. Maybe some of that getting down into the Yukon Flats and still a chance of snow showers here over the Southeast interior with uh, chance of rain and snow along the North Gulf Coast and drying out over the Panhandle. Uh, kind of this uh, low pulls north westward once again. And that'll keep it wet and breezy along the north coast, but the southern areas are starting to dry out with maybe some clearing down toward Dixon entrance. 
And then for the following day, that front just goes to pieces as it moves in. That'll keep it cloudy with some showers and rain for the southeast coast, all the way back again into Prince William Sound with some light snow possible into the eastern Kenai Peninsula, Manuska Valley areas, cutting off, uh, say, western Turnagain Arm, Chugach Mountains, Kodiak Island, much of the interior looking pretty good for the day Saturday. Dry conditions, light winds, high pressure out over the Bering Sea, making for an area of light winds and dry conditions there. Even the northerly winds here may be only gusting 25, maybe 30 miles an hour across the eastern Aleutians. Still some shower activity there along the southwest coast, but looking pretty good out here. No big storms on the horizon out to the west either, at least through Saturday evening. Lows tonight in the 40s for the Aleutians, near 40 for the Perbolox, lower 30s along the southwest coast to St. Lawrence Island, and uh, 10 to 20 for the North Slope and Brooks Range, and in the teens, the lower 20s for the central interior. Mid-20s, Bristol Bay, lower to mid-30s, South Central Alaska, and 40s to lower 50s, quite mild there for the southeast coast. Highs tomorrow, lower 60s for the southern panhandle with mid-50s in the north, upper 40s for uh, Kodiak Island, 30s here, central eastern interior, up to the lower 40s there around Eagle, and uh, Copper River Basin, mid-40s, South Central Alaska, Cooler 30s out here toward the southwest coast and near freezing for the Seward Peninsula area. 40s to lower 50s for the Aleutians. Lows for Saturday morning. Not too bad in the teens here for the uh, Brooks Range North Slope area and teens and 20s for the Arctic coast. 20 to 25 over the western interior and the east side there, teens to the lower 20s. Near freezing south central Alaska, up in the valley though, maybe in the upper 20s. Definitely in the 20s for the Copper River Basin, upper 30s for Kodiak Island, lower 40s for the Aleutians, and 40s to near 50 for the Panhandle, followed by highs. A little cooler down here for the southeast coast, but still pretty mild, mid to upper 50s there. 40s southern Alaska, 30s in the central interior, 20s for the north slope in the Brooks Range, and mid 20s to mid 30s for the Arctic coast, and in the 40s out over the Bering Sea and the Aleutians.